Yes, students, hope you're all fine. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use a Schoolkit UG platform for learning purposes. So all you need to do, um, right now I'm using a laptop, uh, but even if you're using the phone, it's the same thing, more of the same thing. All you need to do is go to your browser, whether it is uh, Opera Mini, whether it is UC Browser, whether it is any, op any browser that you have, Type in the website address and put www.schoolkitug.com and then hit enter. So the, the website will load and it will bring something like that. All you need to do is uh, you will create account. You will hit create account and the uh, when you hit create account, of course, me, me, I already have an account. That's why it's bringing this, what you're seeing here, my email and my password. So for you, you'll need to create an account. So it will bring up uh, something like this, where you'll need to fill in your, your name. You need to fill in your email address, the phone number, and then um, probably the level the level or whereby the level is like either you primary student a secondary or university student and uh, yes then you'll put in a password and then you put a new password to confirm like if you put in here a password you'll need also to put the same password here to confirm it and then you'll um you'll be required to now hit create account so when you create account they will tell you that uh, an account has been created either successfully uh, whereby now you will need the the administrator will need to activate that account so when the account is uh, activated all you need to do is uh, uh, is just to sign in you come and hit sign in button um, when you hit sign in button you'll put the email address now and the password which we have confirmed and then you hit sign in um after signing in uh all you need to do don't mind what is appearing here when you sign in it will show something like this to show you something like this and uh, uh, that's what probably will be appearing on your screen even if it is a phone still it is the same thing that will be looking like that so uh all you need to do first is go to groups hope you can see the groups even if it's a phone check where the groups is and then click there then tap here where there is discover groups or search put there then you search let's say if you've joined in senior one i'm using an example if you're a senior one student all you need to do is to search for let's say secondary one secondary one uh, when you search that it should be able to bring you uh, sorry uh, i may I misspelled something here Secondary. Hold on a bit. Seems I've, I've misspelled it. Uh, okay. Uh, if if I think the easiest is you search subjects. Let's say you can search physics. You can search physics. When you search physics, it will bring you all groups of physics. So you don't need to join all the groups. All you do is you hit on the second row one, which is senior one physics group. So when you hit on it, then you'll be able to join. It will give you a part somewhere where it will ask you join group. Then you'll join. And then you can still go back and uh, you search for another, another subject. You can search geography. Geography. Um, when you search geography, still it will bring all groups of geography from senior to senior six. All you need to do is to join, uh, to hit on the senior one group, and that is the one you need to join as well. It will show you uh, somewhere where it requires you to join, so you join it. So briefly, um, that's how you can join different groups uh, uh, on the portal, on the learning portal. Uh, now after you've joined, uh, this is how you attend uh, lessons. I'm going to use an example of uh, any group randomly. Let me choose, like, let's say, senior two physics. 
I see this group. Um, okay, now in, in a group, there are certain uh, menus there or items. There is Q and A, which is for question and answer, discussions, notes, um, then this, this other one may not be necessary for you. Then these three items are the key items you'll be using to learn. Notes, that is where the teacher will be uploading notes. Discussion, this is where the lesson will be taking place or the discussion. And then question and answer is for you to ask questions. And you can ask a question whereby uh, your colleague can answer. Like you see when I'm in Q&A, I'm having here, there is a part ask question. When you hit ask question, you'll, it will give you a space where you can type. You can say, excuse me, teacher, uh, I need more explanation, explanation uh, on matter. So you can hit such a question. Don't mind this. I'm just doing it for testing. So excuse me, teacher, I need more explanation on matter. Then you can post um, your question. So the question will go there. It will show that this is William. He's asking that, excuse me, teacher, I need now. Your colleague or a teacher can now answer back your question. Can just tap here, answer. And then, um, yes, a teacher now can go there and uh, start answering. Now, the teacher may answer with any kind of answering. He can answer using words. He can type for you, matter is anything that dash 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 so you can answer by texting or you can answer by attaching for you an image uh, or you can even answer by recording an audio okay so uh, that is how uh, your question and answer will be uh, working uh, then the learning the discussion we need to do uh, if it's time for the lesson all you need to do is just enter the group let's say if you're having uh, mathematics then it means you have uh, and you're in senior two then it means you have to be in secondary two mathematics you join that group at that time and you go to discussions then you'll be able to follow what is happening so that's how the lesson will be flowing let's look at an example of this lesson this was turning effects effect of forces now when you you check there you hit participate you'll find the teacher has started a discussion all you do um all you do is, uh, let me first go back a bit. I had not showed you that. Um, all you do is, uh, the, you'll find there, uh, you, when you tap discussions, it, you'll see different discussions that have happened and even the one which is happening there. Uh, then you have just hit on the, you have to see the discussion which is happening, meaning which is the current class, and you tap on participate. So when you tap on participate, it will open the current or the active lesson and then you can be able to follow can be able to follow what is happening in case a teacher is putting images all you need to do is to tap on the image then it will zoom in okay uh yes so uh, you can close the image then you go back to the to the normal lesson so basically that's how you'll be learning on the platform then there is a notification part which will be showing you what is taking place to groups you're connected to. For example, I'm connected to the senior two group. Now it has given me a notification that I have posted a question. I hope you can see that. So even when uh, a teacher has started a lesson, it will notify you that the teacher so and so has started a discussion. Okay. So it means the class is going on. So I think uh, that is it for now. That is basically the, the key things you need to know. Uh, and how you you will be learning from the platform. This platform is designed to minimize usage of data. That is why you're seeing less video thing here. So you're trying to see that you don't use so much data du during your learning. I thank you so much and you're welcome to School Kit.